Hi, my name is Per Friber from Stockholm, Sweden. In my last video I talked about my main microphone, Pearl DS60. What I didn't mention is why this Pearl is so unique. They use rectangular capsules in their large capsule microphones. And I think Pearl was the first company to start to use rectangular capsules. You can read more about that on their homepage and you have a link below. Today I will talk about another Pearl microphone and it's called ELM. Uh, ELM has three flavors. ELM-B is a figure 8, ELM-C is a cardioid and this one looking the same is ELM-A and it's a, it has double capsules and double outputs. So you can in the mixer or in the door decide what kind of characteristic you will use. As you see this microphone is very tall. The capsule has a ratio of 7 to 1. And what's so special with that? When you record and have a microphone like this, you have a wide angle this way but more narrow this way. If you have it like this, you have it wide that way, but narrow that way. And you can block out a lot of sound coming from the sides or from the bottom and the heights, of course. When I record choir and orchestra, I often use this as a stereo setup in ORTF. And then I can block out a lot of the sounds from the orchestra having it like this, because I can block out the sound from below. When I have them as spot mics on piano, for example, I use often this side to block out instruments from the side. Normally I use my DS60 as my main microphone, but sometimes I use this also as ORTF. You can also use them as AB and Omni. And if you have two, as I have, you can use them as MS as well, or Bloomline, or XY, what you want. In my next video I will talk about another Pearl microphone. In fact, the first microphone I bought in my whole life. Till then, bye bye.